Hello everybody, my name's Saisei. Welcome to my first PlayStation TV Let's Play of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. That's a mouthful more than that Hatsune Miku game. Uh, this is the first PlayStation TV game that I actually purchased that I'm actually going to be playing. Let's get started. Uh, it's the sequel to the first game, but to be technically to be technical about the actual story, it's the first game in the current canon because the first game takes place in a whole other dimension. Uh, the first game, Rebirth 1, did not work with the PlayStation TV, but you should see it on Steam, coming out on January 30th, not the 28th, as previously stated. I'm not sure what the reason was. Checked on Steam today, it just wasn't there. As for the opening uh, show, or what's called opening theme song that's coming up, it's... To be honest, like my favorite opening theme song that came from Neptunia, Neptunia was from the first game, like the very first game on the PS3. And that was Ryusei no Bifrost, I believe. Yeah, that was a good song. By the same artist, it's always been the same artist, it's just never really been as good. Anyways, this game is very text heavy. I already hit new game once, so the trophy for pressing start isn't there anymore. But... I am going to take off the webcam because it's a lot of text and why just watch me stare at words when there's so much more to stare at in this game, if you know what I mean. That's all. You take this. Damn you. No, she was Be not gone. slow. Trying to determine the quality of the cinematic here for the Rebirth 2. It's actually looking pretty good. Even though the resolution is... Not HD. At least I think so, and I think Neptune just blew up. Game over. No way. My sister. That's not your sister. We don't have a chance. Please stop this. Nice sight. Game over. It was a short game. All right. Time to pack up. But in all seriousness, the cutscene's actually pretty good. A dire crisis. Shops are boarded up. Creators are overworked and starving. And death looms over all game industry men. But the CPUs refuse to let this be game over for their world. Game industry had severed its ties to the chaotic, lawless realm long ago. And yet, ever since the advent of ASIC, the R4 Syndicate of International Crime, or ASIC. morality has all but vanished. As much as 80% of all students are rumored to worship a being known as R4. Parents, despite knowing it to be a poor deity to worship, have gone ahead and allowed their children to do so. Even the governing bodies of the world have turned a blind eye to it, rather than crush the crisis in its infancy. Well, basically, game industry was pretty messed up, you guys. Best narrator ever. Thus, did game industry fall into complete and utter disarray. Those who tire of living in this corrupt world are sent to wander the game industry graveyard forever lost. Kind of like what IF and Kamba are experiencing right now. Welcome to the game industry graveyard. Yo, I don't know who does that voice, but it's pretty awesome and kind of reminds me of something from Akiba Strip. Huh. Oh well. All those TVs in the background kind of remind me of Persona 4. All the way to the game industry graveyard. Yep. So it seems. 
Oh. I don't get why you're so scared. I wonder why there aren't subtitles. But look at the weird stuff all over the place. Oh, that was a short cutscene. Totally necessary. As its name implies, the game industry graveyard is where those whose time has passed go to rest for eternity. All things you see here were once inhabitants of game industry proper. Uh, oh, really? Yes. You know, this is why I said it'd be okay if you stayed behind. N no way! I'd never agree to that. I want to help Nep Nep and Gigi and the other CPUs as well. And so do I. Hard to believe they've been missing for three whole years now. It's been three years? It's so stupid of them to make me worry like this. All will be made right soon. I am certain they are alive. Mm. Even if they are seriously injured. As long as you possess the Sherisite I had prepared for you. Sherisite, The crystallized power of the people's faith. If that's true, then you're right. Okay, let's hurry up and find our ladies, Kampa. We'll carry them all home if we have to. Okie dokie. Was Kampa's Jeez, uh, sweater so taking forever. always sleeveless? Or uh -huh. detached sleeves? Where do you think everyone could be? Uh, hmm. uh, yikes! Hey, come on! What's with the sudden shouting? Uh, uh, a voice! I heard a moaning voice! You did? Where? What direction did it come from? I think it was that way. Yeah, go towards the moaning nice. voice. Let's get moving. Um, wait a minute. Please don't leave me here alone. Stop being so slow, Kampa. There, it's Nap. That was Nap? Sounded so... Ooh la la. I Ify? Kampa? Yeah, she's still Gigi's functioning. Gigi's here too. Look, the other CPUs. Dot dot dot. How awful. Who would restrain them like this? Ah, oh, Sunako. He's such an artist. No! Snap out of it, would ya? Dot dot dot. It's no good. She's still out cold. Man, what's up with these stupid tentacle things? They're just wire cords. Do not attempt to force them free by hand. Kampa, please utilize the Sherisite. Right. It's somewhere here in my handy dandy nurse's pouch. I won't allow it! Dad! Who are you? You better not get in our way. Just read the name. It said CFW <laughs> Judge. <laughs> For someone to be insane enough to travel here? Inconceivable! Three long years. I've remained idle for too damn long. It's finally time to destroy! I don't get his problem, but we've got a fight on our hands. I'll handle him. So go save the CPUs, Kampa. Y you betcha! Yeah, just like you please, saved Eastwar. Please wake up! In the first game. Which means this is not the same Kampa. I don't like that nickname, Gigi. Kampa? I... I was... Sleeping. I'm so happy you're alive! Let me get the other CPUs up, too. Ah! Oh no. Weak! So pathetically weak! Come on! Make the fight more interesting for me! Come on! Hi, yes? Here? <laughs> well... Now I feel stupid that you get to see me in such a sorry state. Hey, you look fine. Be careful. This creep is freakishly strong. Let me help out too. We have to buy some time so everyone can wake up and regain their strength. I hope I do. I know how to fight. It's based off of the victory system. <clears throat> if I remember right. This fight doesn't go well. Pew 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 pew! Zero zero! Look at all those zeros! 
I have more hits than damage. Don't act all cool. You did no damage. Is it really? Is that seriously all the strength you possess? We're not affecting him at all. Kampa, aren't Nip and the others coming too yet? Um, I don't think they're gonna be waking up anytime soon. Perhaps the Sheriff's Light was not pure enough to awaken the CPUs proper. Only... You serious? Then... There's nothing else we can do here. Again. I'm going to lose again. No, 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 no! This was just a waste of my time! I'll finish you all off, right now! No! I... I'm completely powerless! Wait, if I use what's left of the Sherisite's power... Please be enough. Come on. Yep, you're so cool. What? No, oh, the light! My eyes! My eyes! My eyes! Nepgear, use solar flare. It worked? Nice thinking, gear. Was it enough? Really? Did she usually use a Sherisite to use Solar Flare? What? What happened? Did she seriously lose consciousness now of all times? Unforgivable. You'll never escape. Once my retinal systems come back online, <laughs> I'll kill you all! Maybe she shot him in the eyes? The time has come to withdraw. Nothing more can be done now. You heard her, Kampa. Let's hurry up and get gear out of this place. Y yeah Seems we managed to lose him. It doesn't look like we moved very far. Gigi is way heavier than she looks. That's not a compliment. Even after all that, the only one we could help was Gear. Not to mention, the Sherisite's power was expended, and it shattered when Gigi had it unleash that light. There's no way we can help the CPUs without that. Dot dot dot. There is no reason to be so hard on yourselves. Saving Nepgear is a very critical accomplishment. Then what's next, Eastwar? Return to Planetune. We shall have Nepgear rest until she has recovered her strength. Besides, I must learn what transpired three years ago, even if the memories are painful for her to recall. Chapter 1 Divine Oratorio There's that theme song for Planet Tune. You're finally awake! What a relief. You were asleep for so long that we were all getting really worried. How do you feel? Um, I think I'm fine now. But, um, so... I'm really sorry. If anyone should apologize, it should be me. It was my command that sent you five to that battlefield. You? Huh? N no! I would never blame you. It all went south because... because I wasn't strong enough. She says with a smile on her face. It may be sudden, but I must ask you to recount what occurred three years ago at the game industry graveyard. Of course. That's insane! All of you lost against a single opponent? That's so hard to believe. How could the CPUs lose? Can I ask a question now? What happened to game industry after we lost that battle? You said it's been three years, so... The situation is bleak, I am afraid. ASIC, under the assumed command of R4, controls much of the world. Disc burning, disc copying, even kids now see piracy as normal and have put their faith in it. I know, kids. In other words, Everyone believes in ASIC, so the faith that powers the CPUs has grown very weak. Making just that one small Sherisite crystal took us nearly all three years. Well, with the CPUs absent from their nations, it's no surprise. We failed to save them. And we have come to learn that ASIC's goal is to revive the deity of Sin 
at the rate our world is declining, they may achieve that goal. But isn't there anything we can do to stop them? Yes, one way yet exists, and that way is you, Netgear. Boy. Along with the other CPU's younger sisters, your fellow CPU candidates. If it yet exists, that means it doesn't exist yet? Wait, me? And I'm not the only CPU candidate? True, she's just not powerful enough yet. I get it. Correct. As you know, only the CPUs themselves and the CPU candidates are able to gather shares. If enough shares are recovered, ASIC and those affiliated with it should weaken. They want me to collect shares in my sister's stead? I want to help Neptune. I want to help the world. But there is no way I can beat such a strong opponent. I don't have a chance. Isn't that approach too slow? ASIC might be able to gather shares faster than we can reclaim them. Good point. And even the people who believed in the CPUs probably know they've lost by now. In that case, we could request assistance from the mascots that reside in each nation. Like game mascots? Born from the ancient Back goddesses. to the music. They oversee the balance and order of our world in a passive manner. That is to say, they preside over the nations to ensure prosperity and remain neutral to all else. But when needed, they will stand by the CPUs and rid the world of evil's influence. I had no idea they even existed. Indeed. Not even I am aware of their precise locations. I have been researching where the mascot for Planet 2 resides, but to no avail. Well, you're not really the Tome of All-Knowing anymore. I will inform you all once I find something of note. In the meantime, please regain Planetune's shares. This will also serve to rehabilitate Nepgear's combat ability. Makes sense. I mean, Gear didn't even move much in the past three years, let alone fight. Dot dot dot. Hey, you listening, Gear? Huh? Oh, um, yes. Very well. Then allow me to give you this. End gear received. What is it? This is the end gear. It is a portable device with a multitude of functions. It should prove invaluable to you. I think she means it's the menu. Oh, well, yeah, it's close enough. Uh, exit. So what now? I have to read. Should we get some work at the guild? The guild, huh? Oh right, you've never been there yourself, have you, Gear? We get all sorts of work orders from all over game industry there. This is probably voiced in Japanese, though. We take on an assignment, complete it, report the results, and get paid pretty simple, right? Although actually doing it once may give you a better idea of the flow. Let's go. Hello. We'd like to sign up for some fun work, please. Huh? Only one work order today? Let's see. Quest overview. Defeat the doggoos that are overpopulating Virtua Forest. Report of travelers being attacked by a pack of doggoos. Terminate them. Well, that works for us. Virtua Forest is very close to us, and the Mr. Doggoos aren't very tough enemies. Okay. But I... Am I ready for this? You'll be fine. Come on, let's have head to Virtual Forest. They're basically slimes. Do 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 do. How to fight. How to shop. How to menu. How to. How to. How to. Tutorial. Ta-da! We have reached the world map. Ooh. Okay. So, anyways. <coughs> That's a good question. We're going to the menu. Equipment? No? Nothing? I don't get anything for having a Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1 file? Alright, what we're gonna do, we're gonna save. And I'm gonna end this episode here. So thanks very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. I mean, this is just the beginning of Chapter 1 and the prologue. There really wasn't any gameplay in this, it was just watching and reading but uh 
If you want to see more Neptunia Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation, stay tuned. I'll probably be playing this game anyways, whether you guys like it or not. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.